All right, let's continue with redirecting the user after they are logged in. Basically, we want to redirect the user to the page they requested before being logged in. As of now, when the user logs in, let's say if the shopping cart is clicked, after the user is logged in, see, it doesn't go anywhere. We are not redirected to any page. Supposedly, we should take the user back to this shopping cart after they are being logged in. Okay, now let's go back to our code. In auth guard, in here we said we want to take the user to the login page. But now we also want to store the current URL that user has clicked on it on a query parameter in here. Okay, so let's have query params. Okay, and now we say return URL. Okay, we are just defining this variable and we get the state dot URL. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the browser. Let's log out. Now, when I click on the shopping cart, you see my return URL is stored up here. But right now the problem is if I click on this login and if I log in, see I'm not taken to this URL and this URL is not stored anywhere. So let's go back and into our code, open the code and we are going to store this URL, this return URL into a variable into our browser local storage okay so we go local storage set item okay i declare a variable here let's call it return url and state dot url basically i'm storing my url into a token uh, and storing it into my browser let's go and see where that token is all right right click inspect go and find the application okay and here i'm going to click on the shopping cart see i have this token here the key is return url and the value is my url shopping cart now we can go ahead and use this shopping cart using this key after the user is being logged in okay let's go ahead and do it so let's go back to our code Okay, we can close this page. Okay, open auth service. Very good. Let's go into this line. After the user is logged in successfully, we want to get the token that we saved on our browser and use it to navigate the user. Okay, so let's have a const variable. Let's call it return URL. And this time local storage dot get item this time. So we set the item, now we want to retrieve it. So we use get item. The name of the key was return URL. And that's it. Now let's go here and inject the router as well. So private router, type router. Okay, it's imported properly. Now let's say this dot router dot navigate by url this time okay because we want to use this return url that's all let's save it okay let's go back to the browser and let's delete this key from here now i'm going to click on it again it is being stored here so let's log in okay There we go. We are being taken to the shopping cart. Perfect. Now, let's say if I have this page uh, as well. So let's log out. Okay. I want to go into that page. Okay. See, this time my URL is set to the order. And here my return URL is the orders. Let's log in again.
there we go we are in the orders page okay let's see what we have done so far in our auth guard we set the query params uh, to keep the URL in the browser we also stored the user requested URL in user's browser as a return URL token and at the end we use that token which was saved on the browser to navigate the user to the return URL perfect we are done now this is the last one